How are genetic conditions diagnosed? It can be a worrying time trying to get a diagnosis when your child is experiencing or showing signs of health or developmental problems. I know how it feels. I hope I can help by telling you about what you might expect while searching for a diagnosis. If you believe your child has health problems or developmental delays that haven't been spotted by a healthcare professional, then contact your GP or health visitor. Don't be afraid to tell them your concerns. The process of identifying the genetic cause of a child's health problem can be complex. It can include sharing details about your child's development and any family genetic conditions. It might include physical examinations or investigations, such as blood tests. Your GP or paediatrician can refer you to a specialist clinician or other professionals who can help with symptoms, such as a physiotherapist for muscle weakness. If a genetic condition is suspected, a referral to an NHS genetic service will be arranged or you can ask for this. The process, including getting any results, can take a long time and sometimes clinicians will still be unable to make a diagnosis. Some families like mine continue to wait for answers. It can feel like you don't know what will happen next or where to turn. Without a diagnosis, we blamed ourselves. When it has not been possible to make a diagnosis, it can be difficult for people to understand and it can make it more challenging to get the support your child needs. Many children who have genetic testing may never receive a diagnosis, but they might still have a genetic condition. This is referred to as an undiagnosed genetic condition, a syndrome without a name, or SWAN for short. With scientific and technological advancements, you may get a diagnosis in the future. SWAN UK, run by the charity Genetic Alliance UK, is the only UK support community for families of children with undiagnosed genetic conditions. Join now for information, support and to connect with other families.